Chair, I want something corrected on the record. Um, on the 21st of April 2022, Quilcha launches new forestry strategy, strategy vision to optimise optimize its contribution to Ireland's climates, uh, to Ireland's climate targets, Ireland's climate targets. It talks about the 100,000 hectares. It talks about everything. It's there on the website. You said twice, Minister, everyone knew about Gresham House and all of this. Not one part of that is Gresham House. And I think the record needs to be... With private investors private, didn't even it. So private, it's there. Private investment. Okay, so it's not in that, and you can look it up. No, right? I just want you. Private investment. I want to clarify. I stand over what I said. Can, can I move on because I'm no, tight on time? I just. The ways. I want quick Fitz answers. Morris. Deputy Fitzmaurice has the floor now. You have ten minutes, Deputy Fitzmaurice. Yeah. Thank you, and I want quick answers because I'll butt in if you don't. Um, right. In the barrier column, because I might get straight answers. Um, is there any scheme this minute to go in for the ash dieback? Yes or no? Is there currently a scheme? Uh, you can apply this minute, can you? No, until we get the state aid approval. Okay. Uh, so, is there a scheme now, this minute, to apply for ash dieback, or is there any compensation for it? Yes or no? That's all I want Those to know. Those files that are live currently are being dealt with for no. a new I scheme. I asked, is there anything this minute to apply for? Not to apply for. Okay. No, if you right. That's all I want to know. Approval. That's all I want to know. Um, in the line of the applications that was in, in Say I put in an application, if I put in an application in October or September or November and it had to go to ecology, am I correct in saying that ecologists at the moment can do nothing with any of those applications, yes or no? All files on hand are being processed to the point at which they can be approved. So the ecologists are at the working. moment are working away, yes. every ecologist. That's yeah. grand because there was different stories out about that. Um, we have clarified already that you, uh, today even if you've done an NIS and all the stuff, you cannot apply for any scheme. That's clarified already. So that's, that's my answer, uh, got on that. Um, when do you expect, you're saying in a month's time you're putting in the state aid application, what are the obstacles? What is the EU coming back to you? Are they coming back about giving business 15 years grants and farmers 20 years grants? What are the, what are the things they're throwing up to you? Well, it's a state aid approval Deputy, so there's a range of issues, you know, the Commission what are there? environmental. Yeah. Um, is it being thrown up the 15 market to 20 e economics, years? the 15 to 20 year to my knowledge has not been raised as, okay. a, as, as a specific issue. But the Commission is a broad church. We deal directly with DG competition. DG competition in turn has to do with inter-service consultation and the various DGs of the Commission will come forward and have come forward with their various views. So every one of those has to be answered and as the Minister said, that's the purpose of all of the informal consultation that's ongoing at the moment, is to work through as many of these, what you might consider technical questions right now, okay. which right. will, will clear the way then for a formal submission. Lovely. Um, in relation to the Quilch deal, and just to be clear on this, um, when you go in with an, uh, an investment company, am I correct in saying, and Minister, you're the Minister for Agriculture, that if there was premiums on that land in, in the line, of, if there was entitlements, they can draw the entitlements, yes or no? Who can draw the entitlements? Investment the, the, companies? The, uh, the investment company, yeah, mm -hmm. if they have a herd number. Yes or no? Uh, I, it's a techn more technical question. Any no, it's not technical. Well, I, I'm going to refer that because I, I can't for certain answer it. Well, a herd number defines you as a farmer. Yeah. So if you're a farmer... So there's companies that's heard, that have herd numbers that draw... Well, there the are farmers... I suppose the point is there are farmers that incorporate as companies... So they for, can for draw all, the single I, farm payment if there is entitlements on it, yes or no? That's all. A farmer can draw a single farm payment if, so it was, if, if, if I understand, if I remember correctly to say that it was as long as the, um, it was claiming single farm payment from 2008. Yeah, so they can. Right. That's, that's fair enough. That's all I want to know. Um, under this new scheme, am I correct in saying that the investment companies can draw the premiums um, on a yearly basis and can draw the establishment grant, yes or no? Yes, for 15 years. Okay, 15 years. The, um, in relation to the Quilcha deal, Minister Hackett, um, in March 21, were you not made aware of this? Are you talking about the Gresham House deal yeah. or Quilch's uh, plans? For, I mean, Quilch's I, plans been, and about them talking to Gresham House? No, wasn't aware. You weren't made weren't aware? weren't aware until the end of oh. December, or oh, okay. that date in December. And um, in relation to the deal being done to Minister, both, uh, either Minister, um, there was a farm bid on in Tipperary in July that Quilch were well aware of. The PRA, a property registration authority, put it into the investment fund on the 23rd of December of this year. You said you were made aware on the 16th or 18th. Could you believe everything had moved that fast in Ireland? 
Because any time a farmer buys a bit of land, it takes three to four months to put the land into their name. Do you believe that all of this only went on from the day our meeting was here and that they signed up ever thereafter? Because the land was being bid on in July, 1,100 acres. It is in in the name of the PRA. Do you believe that someone uh, somewhere has misled you? Uh, no, I have no reason to believe anybody has misled me here, um, uh, Deputy Fitzmaurice. Would you find it ironic? That I'm, I'm not sure, I mean, which, which you're... I'm talking uh, about a deal in Tipperary of 1,100 acres of land that, was, that has been put into the, the new, we'll call it the new investment company's name. It was registered by the 23rd of December. Now, that's only a few days after you say you became aware of it, and 12 days after we had Quilche in here. Would you find that unusual that people work so Listen, fast? Listen, I mean, I don't know the detail of, 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 of the one you're referring to. All I can say is, um, Kilcher wrote to me on the 16th of uh, December, which was a Friday, the, the, mm. day, the letter dated. But you knew, uh, I was, you knew a long time in advance that. I was, I was, re I was reappointed on the 17th, which was a Saturday. Mm. Um, the letter would have arrived in on Christmas week to my office. And I would have been aware of it then, uh, on after uh, after the new year. But that letter was indicating that um, Kilcher had already signed the deal. Right. Um, to and minister, again, that was in line to with Minister the, Hackett. Was, um, we talk about a lot of, say, broadleaves and different types of planting. Have you met the nurseries? And have you been made aware that there may be, if a lot of planting comes in, that there would be um, problems as maybe having enough of stock in place because obviously you don't just click a button and trees grow. It takes three years to four years. Are you aware of any problem that way that might occur? Uh, no, absolutely that there, there could well be a problem, especially with broadleaf. So I think maybe two or three years might be the timeline, maybe not quite as long as four. But I know my department has, I think, engaged um, with particular nursery in relation to this um, to, to tease out what options we could do and whether we could plant you know, parts. I'm, I'm not sure if any, if either of you want to give any details on that. In, yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Deputy. Yeah, look, we're engaged with uh, with the nurses too. Is there going to be a problem, yes or no, in your view? <laughs> it, well, look, we, we can see that there is an uptake uh, so far of about six. Are we looking at Are we looking at bringing in trees from other countries that may have disease? We're looking at flexibilities with the nurses to try and uh, allow them fulfil their orders. That's what we're trying to do at the moment. We hope to issue a circle by the end of the week to try and clarify that and alleviate some of the pressures they have in, in filling those orders. And we'll, we'll, we'll circle that to you as well, Deputy, so you can see okay. what, we're, what we're doing. Min okay, Minister McGonagall, um, um, in your opinion, is the has the gate closed? Is the deal done on the 12,000 hectares, in your opinion? Is that deal going to be reversed or not? Yeah, so, uh, listen, uh, myself... An honest and, answer. Uh, no, that deal is done. Uh, myself and Minister uh, Hackett met with Keitsha last week uh, to fully explore the ins and outs of the deal, all aspects of it, you know, and that is a contractual obligation which they were um, signed up to uh, as of uh, their letter of the 16th of December to me. Three, four days after they've been in here telling us to come back to us. Um, and are you surprised that a company that came in here on the 12th, or a semi-state, that came in here on the 12th or the 13th, the, ch the chair will know the date exactly, um, that informed us that they were so worried about our climate targets um, that they were going to plant 100,000 hectares of dry land, um, of clean land. And were you surprised that in the first deal that's going to be done, there's 8,000 hectares that's going to be standing timber um, that will not be of any benefit to Ireland's mitigation measures. Were you surprised at the two different statements we are hearing? Well, um, I think, so for, first of all, whenever Kielce purchased land um, and the way they manage it is very different from uh, a private farmer or a private company in that it will be open access. Also, any replanting they do, and particularly there is a particular market for replanted land because you know, you'll know well, Deputy Fitzmaurice, whenever premiums run for the first plantation, but whenever you harvest it, yeah. um, after you're legally obliged to replant it. But there's no premiums then whenever you no, replant. Would you be surprised so, that if we're worried yeah, well, about the? Listen, I mean, so I, I know Kilcher are looking at uh, acquiring land which they can manage in a way that works for the environment because okay. replanting they're looking to do 50-50 and also have it open access for the public. Have, uh, but the key priority is the 100,000. Uh, have you or uh, any of your staff got an inventory, an independent inventory of what stocks Quilcher have? Have you done that? Are you doing that? An independent 
inventory, or have you even got an inventory from Quilcha what they have in their stocks and the years? Or Ferguson. Ferguson. I suppose, um, Deputy, I mean, we do carry out a national forest inventory. No, but I asked, have you got an exact one from Quilcha of their exact stocks? Yes we, or no? Yes, we know what Quilcha own. Four hundred. Yeah, we know what they own. I know, no. And we, have a, stocks. And, and we have a distribution of the age last structure of their forest estate. And would the Minister consider, um, if the Committee was asked him to do an independent assessment of what Quilcha has in stock in the quantity and quality of timber? I mean, Quilch already have I'm a very detailed... The minister there. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, Deputy Fitzmaurice. <laughs> Would you consider, if the Committee asked you, to, to appoint an independent person to look at the quantity or an inventory, the quantity and quality of what Quilch have on their 40 year cycle? Well, listen, I think the first step in that, I mean, Kilcha own and manage the la uh, land. I know that, Jim. You're the minister. So, yeah, so, I mean, the first step there would be to ask Kilcha for it, and I, I would have no doubt that they would have all of that detail. Uh, they manage it very well. Could you get that for us? I've no doubt I could, yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll get that for you, Deputy Fitzmaurice, yeah. Okay, sir. Sorry. Well, okay.